All right, mate. How you doing? Welcome back to another IMO. I say another IMO. It's a completely different setup to usual. I've got a guest. We're going to have Sevy Boy's opinion as well as mine today. And we're talking about the newly announced Premier League Hall of Fame. Okay, they've announced they're doing it. We want to know who is going to be probably the first inductees into it, but also who should be. We can talk all about that and more in today's IMO. So let's go. Cue the proper music. Okay, so, Sebi boy, thanks mm. for joining me first of Absolutely. all. Absolutely, pleasure. It's been a while since I've been on the channel. It has been a while, been a and time. this is a. F- we're used to using these commentary mics. We use these when we do hashtag games, but we've never used them in this setup. Um, basically, one time, someone just put some glue on the top, and now we just can't ever take them off. This is on it all so day. This is basically, every now we day. just walk around like this. Now, what we're trying is we're trying something a bit different. I mm. want to try and do these with my IMOs, getting other people's opinion in and building it out a little bit. Uh, we're, we're trialing it. It's up to you guys to tell us what you think. So, we're currently set up in the office at home. And we obviously in time could get a different mic set up and different background and whatnot. But we don't need to worry about that right now. We're just going to talk mm. and chat football. And mm. we're going to record a few today. But first of all, we're going to talk about the Hall of Fame. Premier yes. League Hall of Fame. You sent me this on WhatsApp, didn't you? I did, so yeah. Take a look at this. And there's a potential to, to share some opinions. What's your first reaction when you see the Premier League are doing a Hall of Fame? The very first thing I think is, oh, that's <laughs> okay. interesting, exciting. I think all of us love talking about opinions in football, especially... If you've been someone who's from the football generation where you've been watching it since the beginning of the Premier League, 92-93, which is actually the first year I actually went to my first ever football match when West Ham weren't in the Premier League. Yeah, it's really? been a few seasons with West Ham not in the Premier League, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, West Ham United versus Bristol Rovers at the old bowling ground, thanks for asking, uh, was my first game. We obviously got promoted that, the, that year, so we were the, one of the first teams ever to be promoted into the Premier League. So I thought, you, you know, we get to talk about some old players again. Everyone likes building their best 11s. It's sort of a different slant on that, isn't it? So I was excited. Yeah, I think something's got to be going for a certain amount of time before you create a Hall of Fame. Yep. I mean, we've been going less than four years, hashtag. We've got one. <laughs> we started right last season, we put Dan Brown. We're not in it. He's, yeah, Dan Brown's the only person in it right now. But I think with Hall of Fame, Seb, tell me about this. Before we mm. start talking about players in, in the, uh, individually, do you can you be in a Hall of Fame and still be an active player? No. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. No. And that's what the Premier League have come out and said that. They've said this is for former players only. Yeah. And they've also said that the only things that can be taken into consideration are their playing years in the Premier League. That's a very good point. It's a very important So, for point. example, Cristiano Ronaldo, would he ever make the Premier League Hall of Fame? I don't think so. I think there's so many great players you could go for, and we're going to continue to make more and more heroes in the Premier League. I mean, right then again, he did some good years, didn't he? He had a few United. good years, but I, I don't think he does it. You know, we talked about this when I did my, um, my tier list. He doesn't need any more accolades. He's R- got Ronaldo's enough. Ronaldo's not top He's tier. He's got enough. For no. me, I've made a few videos. I've made a striker's... Uh, you can t- click the i button to watch them if you want. A striker's tier list video, a midfielder's mm. tier list video. If you're not in the God tier, how do you expect to get in the Hall of Fame? The Hall of Fame is the God tier of God tiers. Well, Premier League also came out and said, this has now become officially the highest accolade they will ever award to a player. Therefore, technically, being more than a winner's medal. So this is worth more than a winner's medal, according to the Premier League. Does how many winner's medals you've got actually affect whether you should get in the Hall of Fame because there's one name we're going to throw out there later mm. who's a shoe in to be in there if not straight away at some point yeah. who hasn't won the Premier League that many times could you be in the Hall of Fame and never have won the Premier League well this is the, probably the Steven Gerrard debate is that he's been one of the greatest players in the Premier League but he's never won it I'm going to be honest I nearly contradicted myself there my initial gut reaction says no I think you can't be in the Hall of Fame or something if you haven't won it. However, there are some people who are going to probably at some point go in the Hall of Fame, if not straight away, who have not won it that many times. So you could say, if you leave enough of an impact on something, for example, there aren't many things like this in football. I've done a very small amount of research. We're not experts. We're learning more about this Hall of Fame all the time, right? Because it's just just been broken. The only thing there is, is there's an English Football Hall of Fame and there's all sorts of mixture of characters in there. And then there's this thing called the FIFA Top 100, which was Pele yeah. was invited to populate, say, 100 players. Um, back in the FIFA's 100th year anniversary, he actually went for 125 players. But well, that's obviously the difference between that is that's a FIFA thing. Yes. The FIFA that's what I'm being, saying is yeah. it's not like something like this. No, FIFA's a top, top level mm. and it's international. Yeah. Whereas this is particularly about the Premier League, so it means yes. you've got to be from 1991 onwards. Mm. So unfortunately, there's people that would be in the Hall of Fame for English football. You know, Sir, uh, Sir Stanley Matthews, for example. Yeah. George Best. Yeah. Any of these guys that have Bobby been Moore. legends. Bobby mm. Moore. Bobby Charlton. They mm. ain't going to be in it because they're not playing the Premier League. No. But they're probably in the... English yeah, they will be. This is specifically Premier League. It's a Premier League-owned entity they've yes. created. They've said they're going to put two people in. Yes. Two people in. And I've seen some of the chat online. A lot of people saying there's two people in the in the uh, front-running positions, if you like. They're saying mm. Sir Alex Ferguson as a manager and Alan Shearer. Now, however, 
we're led to believe it's players only. From what we're hearing, I mean, they only made quite a short statement on this. They said more to follow, and the, the, the announcement's going to be on the 19th. It's only going to be two people, but they've said players, former players. Yeah. So unless there's somebody who is a player and has happened to be a manager now, which I don't Frank think Lampard. there's any... Potentially, but you know... He's not done yeah, enough as a manager yeah, true, yet. That's true. Yeah. He, he'll probably be in the conversation at some he, point, he undoubtedly. He 100% should be in the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're talking about midfielders, there's only a few names that could possibly compete with him. And as I've said in my midfield tier list, Steven Gerrard isn't one of them, in no. my opinion. Because Je- uh, Lampard has won multiple Premier Leagues, but also he scored a ridiculous amount of goals, more than a lot of the strikers well, who have got I've got, got a, a few chance. stats on that, if you want to have a Hit look. Hit me with them. Right, so I did a quick look at just a few names that leapt out of me, and I looked at a few key things. We've got a number of appearances, I think is massive. If you're a, a long-standing member, you know the, probably the most ever Premier League player, most ever Premier League appearances is? Gareth Barry? Gareth Barry. Yeah, so. Gareth Barry's on 653. But is he going to get appearances? It? He has won the league. He has won it with City. So here's something just to throw out there, and I know exactly what the response will be, particularly from Liverpool fans. Barry should be ahead of Gerrard in the pecking order. Discuss. I'm not saying I believe that. That's one of the comments. There. I'm That's putting one of the comments. There. He's got more games and he's won it. I'm putting it out there. It's an interesting one. I mean, so the Lampard is actually third in the all-time appearance list. The only person in, well, the person in between them is Ryan Giggs. Uh, appearances, he has uh, 632. But Lampard's not far a third in all-time goal scorers Well, the thing either. is, yeah, Lampard's on 177 goals and 102 assists. Yeah, so it's outrageous. So um, The only yeah. person for me, if we're talking about players now, that can compete with Frank Lampard, if we're talking about midfielders, is Paul Scholes. Mm. And the reason Paul Scholes can is because the sheer amount of Premier League titles he's got. Well, do you know how many he's got? Is it something like 11? It's 11. Yeah, I thought it was 11. Very good. Well, Ryan Giggs has got 13. Yeah. And he's another one for me that's right up there. Ryan Giggs is, well, yeah, he's the second most assisted, uh, sorry, second most appearance player. He's got over 100 goals and over 100 assists. So that's pretty mental. But weirdly, another little thing I looked at, how many times you won Golden Boot, how many times you won Player of the Season. Ryan Giggs, according to the Premier League website, never won Player of the Season. I can, can believe, you believe it. That? I can, can you? I can believe it. I can believe it. I can't it. believe it. I think he was never the best player in the league. No, but he was, he the was, best, the best, he was, he was one of the, the greatest player. players in Man United. They won it 13 yeah, times. Yeah, but he was, that was over a generation, not one particular year in time. I don't think Giggs was ever the best player in the league at any one time. Well, I'm still shocked by it. I'll tell you what. So, obviously, if we're talking about players, mm. we're going to discount managers. If we were going to go in the manager conversation quickly, no There's one gets one, near. Isn't Saf, isn't it? No one gets near mm. Sir Alex. And then after that, you've probably got Wenger, Mourinho, uh, Big Sam. Glenn Roger. <laughs> But midfielders, we're going to, uh, sorry, yeah, managers, we're going to count out the conversation. We're talking about midfielders, mm. you've got your Giggs, you've got your Skulls, you've got your Lampard. Is there the, anyone else we need to consider as a midfielder? They're the three, really, for me. Yeah. Uh, unless you consider Rooney when he played midfield a bit, which I don't. I call him, he's a forward. What he? about David Silva, Fernandinho? Yeah, David Silva has got to be up there. I think there's a bit of a bias you often get with these sorts of things. You either get one of two of a nostalgia bias. With if you're older, if you're 40 plus, mm. you remember the younger, the the older players better. Yeah. Than you did more recent ones. If you're younger, it goes the opposite way. It's a recency bias. You care more about the players that are smashing it now. There's also another kind of bias, I think, which is an international one. Now the players we've yeah. just named, and there's a reason for it. Premier League started a lot more uh, UK player based. Yep. It's got more foreign as it's gone on. But we said Giggs, we said Skulls, we said Lampard. They're all UK players. We're not mm. thinking about the Fernandinho's and the David Silvers in the it, same breath. It would breath. be really interesting to see if this was polled, and I believe that's where it's going to go. I think what they're doing is they're, they're going to name the first two, and then I think they're going to give it as a vote for the next lot of inductees. We don't know how often there's going to be an inductee. We don't know how many there are going to be in total. I imagine it will be yearly. You think so? But is it going to be one a year? Is it going to be two a year? Yeah, is it going to be we're going to have the ten founding fathers and you're going to name eight guys? But what I was going to say, it wouldn't it be interesting to look at that exact point, because I think it's a good one, is if you've got... English fans to vote and then the international Premier League audience which right now by the way is massive yeah. the, I mean the Premier League product is a global product and more people watch the Premier League from overseas than there are of English people so I think the further afield you go for it in terms of voting the more recent it's going to become and the more Man United Liverpool virus it's be. Yeah, exactly there's going to be a lot <laughs> yeah. of bite and that's one thing when Absolutely. anything's involving in a vote we know what happens with social media like you know, Arsenal, Arsenal <laughs> Liverpool as well you've yeah. got this and that, these fans that stick together and they want to win these polls and I, I do worry a little bit about making it vote I, I like the idea of vote I wonder whether it should be open to anyone to vote could it be season ticket holders mm. that way you lose the fact that it's people watching or, from other countries or it's, or it's players or it's people from the PFA or it's players journalists players is a tough one though because you know, Phil Foden gets a vote what does he know about Matt Letizia. He mm. wasn't even born probably. Well, the same as much as a, as a Premier League football fan of Phil Oden's age knows. It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. We, we look forward to seeing how the Premier League announced the voting is done. Here's right what, I will, now say, we know here's what I will say. The Premier League are very, very astute. 
And if I were in their position, one of the th- some of the things that we're talking about right now, global international broadcasting rights, we've talked about, we've heard about the beginnings of rumours of Prem Flicks, you know, their own OTT service, their own Netflix of football ruling out Skies or BTs. Prem if they, and chill. If they want to go and do something like that, Spin, if you want to vote, register here. All of a sudden, they that's get what the they might data do. of every international... Seb, are you fan. saying, far be it from me to imply that Seb is a cynical man, but are you saying the Premier League are doing this for a business play, a commercial reasons? I'm what you're not saying? saying they're not. Okay. I mean, we have already... It's not much has been announced by it yet, but it's already been announced that it's been presented by Budweiser, who are one of the Premier League's official partners. Okay. So, there's a, I mean, you would do, though, wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? You know, why, why wouldn't you go out and do something like this? You know, they've, they're... Uh, they're a commercial company. Yeah, They've and got I, I would answer that. I would say, yes, interests. they're going to commercialise it. That's They're a very commercial entity. But at the same t- time, why would you not have a Hall of Fame? Of course we should have a Hall of Fame in mm. the Premier League. Yeah, there's there an English football one, like you say, but these things do become, after a certain amount of time, they get a bit outdated. Because yeah, how much do people know about players from the 1920s and 30s and 40s now? Mm. I mean, I only know stuff from, from second-hand information. We obviously weren't alive at that at that point in time. So I think no. the Premier League is seen as a new era in football and it's like a, a watershed moment, mm. uh, a, a benchmark moment in, in English football. And so I think it's good to have a Hall of Fame. But if we keep talking about players, because I'd like to finish yeah. this video of us deciding two. So we're going to pick one each or are we going to agree well, on two? Well, I think two? we try to work together. Okay. But, um, Could be interesting. We'll come to strikers last. If we're going to defenders, there's only a couple of names for me. John Terry, mm. Rio Ferdinand. I think they're probably the only two. Now here's what I'm going to say about that. It's, and this is, I'm, Ashley so, Carl, actually. I'm sorry defenders, but we're just going to have to get real for a minute. You just don't come first. You don't. I'm not devaluing defenders. I have a, I'm a, I was always a forward player, right? So naturally I favour those guys. Um, but everyone knows it. The hashtag players often moan about it because they're some of the defenders who are not in the highlights as much because he doesn't get his feature. Football is about goals, right? And I'm afraid to say that's what people focus. When you talk about the first two, I would be very surprised if the first one of the first two is a defender. I just don't think it's going to happen. You think midfielder, striker? Or you I think, think two strikers? Gonna, I, I think, yeah. It can't in, be two strikers. Unless they're really strategic about it, I think it'll be a midfielder and a striker. And I, I think I know who it's going to be. Right, well, I'll come back to you on that. Okay. So you're ruling out defenders, but if we were looking at defenders... Only from these first two. People T- like John Terry Rio, they need to be in at Terry some point. Terry and Rio, are they the front runners? Is oh. Ashley Cole up there with them? Um, yeah, of course he is. He's won it for different clubs. Yeah, he's won, yeah, he is. He's left the Premier League that. a little bit, though. He did that. that shouldn't be kept against you if you did. You? No. He's gone to the Championship and he's gone to oh. uh, MLS. I think Ashley Cole's in the running. Any goalkeepers for you? Uh, Peter Schmeichel. Yeah, Schmeichel's got to be Peter in the conversation. Check. Peter Check. has got to be in the conversation. You've got to be called Peter. Um, yeah, that's the rule. I heard that is a rule. Peter Crouch. Peter Scudamore made that rule. Hall of Peters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're, they're, one, they're the ones for me. Other goal, David James wouldn't be like he's one of players. He was lot never of games. that good. I, I love you, David. He played a lot of games. <laughs> you were never as good as Peter Schmeichel and Peter. No, Jay. I mean he wasn't, was he? But Charlie we, Moore we he scored past we, lo- we love David James. We love David James. Ch- Charlie Moore. Mo- Wait, did, who did you score past your penalty at Wembley Cup? Well, no, it was Benny Central. <laughs> <laughs> Big name. Benny Central just been it. subbed on. Instead, Peter Schmeichel. Oh, Peter Schmeichel. I dodged a bullet there. Would you have scored Posh Michael? Oh, 100%. I, I had him. He's in my. He was in my back pocket. So, okay, we're going to go with your logic then. We're going to okay. look at midfielder and attacking players. I think it makes sense. Um, Alan Shearer is the elephant in the room. Everyone's yep. saying it's him. Let's talk okay. about why he should be. Let's talk about why he shouldn't be. Okay, 441 appearances in the Premier League, which yep. is the 27th most ever. So it's not okay. up there, but it's not many miles away. Uh, 260 goals, the top goal scorer ever. 260. Uh, 64 assists. Not bad. Uh, one player of the season. Surprising. Yeah. Very surprising. I mean, That's PFA, that is it? PFA player of the season. Uh, with Premier, I don't know. I'm going to the Premier League website. It says okay. player of the season award once. Uh, three-time Golden Boot winner. Big. Um, and he's lifted the trophy once. Here's the thing. I'm going to throw a little bit of a spanner in the works. Okay. So, do I think Shearer will be the first or one of the first two Hall of Famers? I think he will. Yes. Is that out of order? Is that wrong? Probably not. It's probably fine. But I'm just going to suggest something. He only won the league once. He did. Someone Here's someone who people will not put in, and he will probably make it in one day, but not yeah. straight away, Andy Cole. Yeah. Now, Andy Cole was never as good goal as Alan scorer. Shearer. Goal but scorer. he's not far off Alan Shearer. I think he's third or second in top goal scorers, and he won much more Premier Leagues. Now, Shearer came very close to winning the second one with Newcastle. The one he won, of course, with Blackburn Rovers back in the day. Does he deserve less credit because anyone won Premier League, or more credit that he scored that amount of goals playing for Newcastle? Well, this and is why it's so interesting, because if it were as simple as that, they'd just go, it would already be decided. You'd go on the stats website, you click, boom, print, here you go, guys, here's your medals. But it's not about that, it's about opinion. It's about, let's be honest, it's about how you make someone feel. For me, 
there's an award for the top 100 goal scorer. The people who get in the top 100 club, right? The 100 goals. You get yeah. an award for that. If you win, a, you win the league, you get an award. If you win the Golden Boot, you get an award. Hall of Fame is not just about that. It's about people that have made people feel emotion through the Premier League. I actually think that they maybe should have opened it up to people who maybe didn't play. People who have done ex- incredible things for the Premier League. You see that in other sports like golf. You see that in other sorts of sports where people who do something. Well, who would a, you say is in movement. that category apart from managers? It's managers, right? Uh, yeah, potentially. The physio at Chelsea. I'm saying in the future. Things can happen. People do things. People stand up for certain things. Uh, like you could argue, one thing that could maybe go for and against an argument on a player here is players that do stay phenomenally loyal to one particular club. Yeah. People like that would Lennon be a Shearer. club award though. That would be a yeah. club award. True. They, they win true, the Liverpool true, true. player. They wouldn't win the Premier League player. That is true as well. I mean, I personally, one of the things I said about Ashley Cole was that he'd done it in different teams, and I think that is to be. It's the Messi for. versus Ronaldo debate. It's the same yeah. thing, isn't it? It's I mean, this is what it is. It's, just all, it's all about debate, isn't it? It's, it's but I think we can chat. agree Shearer's going to make it. I would think, a- I mean, and yeah. we could sleep at night with him in there. Oh, 100%. But this is what I was about to say to you. When you look at football and you look at stats, what's the first stat you check? Goals. And he is number one. That's the beginning, and it could be the end of the conversation. If he hadn't ever won a Premier League medal, there's a bigger thing to talk about there. Yeah, but the fact yeah, that he yeah. snuck that one in with Blackburn, for me, Premier League Hall of Fame, unquestioned. If you fast forward to Hall of Fame maybe 10, 20 years from now, the one person that maybe could be the first person to beat Alan Shearer's goal tally, mm. I've talked about it many times, is Harry Kane. There's every chance Harry Kane never wins a Premier League title. Yeah, Shearer had, already, Tottenham, he will not, Shearer had so, yeah. already won his by his age, the age of that Harry is go. when he won it at Harry. Blackburn. So that is a good question. Will Harry ever get a title? Will he ever get a Hall of Fame? But we're talking about the current situation. So if Shearer's going to get it, who's getting the second? Mm. We have to go. This is quite tough. Mm. I'm thinking if we're going midfield and we're not going to go striker, we're looking at gigs. We're looking. At, I, I personally think it wouldn't be a Lampard or a Gerrard because it's too recent. I think they'll want to go a little well, bit further let's back. Let's look at some of those stats, right? So Giggs appearances six three two, Skulls four nine nine, Lampard six oh nine. It's Giggs, man. They've it's all be they've all scored over a hundred goals. So Giggs got one oh nine, Skulls one oh seven, Lampard one seven seven. Massive assists. Giggs and Lampard both have hundred and two. Skulls has got fifty five. So Skulls is behind on goals and assists for both of them and appearances. But so he's if, got more league titles. But he's got eleven league titles than Frank. Yeah. Double league titles. I, I don't think they're going to go to, like. Gigs and the Skulls. It's going to be one of them, right? It'll be two Man United, wouldn't it? Exactly. They so therefore, for me, it's a clear runaway. Skulls will have to be in there at some point. Mm. Mark, make, make no mistake. But for the first two, for me, out of those three, it is simply... Also, Skulls never won a player of the season. Interesting. Mm. Um, but yeah, 11 trophies and the other stats. For me, Gigs is just... The, it, it, to be in the th- in the three figures of goals and assists yep. and 13 trophies... And great Has yoga. anyone got more trophies? I mean... Uh, yeah, I, I just think it's Ryan Giggs. Yeah, like you say, he's got two more Premier Leagues than, than Scalzi. Um, it shouldn't be a factor, but Frank Lampard won't get it because he's a manager now. It shouldn't make a difference because Giggs is manager of Wales. He could be managing a Premier but League But they'll want to see if he can win it as a manager and then he'll Maybe. be the first player ever to win it as a manager and a player. And, and they're, just, they're just retired that bit more recently. Yeah, you know, yeah, and you yeah. want a, li- a little bit of time pass. Frank's time will come. It will 100% come, as will Scalzi and, and many other people we've, we've mentioned. But the debate... There's a few more, though. We only have to talk about Thierry Henry. We didn't talk about Henri. Henri. It's again that non-UK bias thing. Exactly. It happens right. accidentally. So Brexit means Brexit. Thierry Henri, nowhere near as many appearances as any of the guys have mentioned. Didn't uh, spend as long as his time in the Premier League. No, well, listen to this stat. 258 appearances, right? Do you know where that puts him down the list? In fact, listen to this. He's the 12th most capped Frenchman in the Premier League. Wow. Have more Can anyone that. name the 11 Frenchmen who've got more caps than Henri? There's one for the comments. But anyway, moving on to goals. 175 goals, less than Lampard. Um, not, ass- not 175 less. No. He's got 175. Two, two less. To which is less than Lampard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, assist 74, very, very strong. Two Player of the Season awards. Uh, four Golden Boots and two Premier League trophies. There'll definitely be some people in the comments that would like to see a shearer Henri partnership. And I don't think they'd be wrong. Imagine that. I think it'd be great two additions. I think they won't do it because it would be too striker heavy. However, you could argue going Shearer and Giggs is too UK centric. But I think they will start with two UK guys. I think it's going to be Shearer and Giggs. Do you want another spanner? Go on. Wayne Rooney. We have to mention him, and the two reason being is that he's in the top three of all time in goals and assists. And he's Rooney is the England top goal scorer of all time. That 208 really goals, 103 assists. He's second top goal of all time goals, third all time assists, one player of the season, five Premier League trophies, just shy of 500 appearances. 
He's on the 17th in the most appearance list. Wayne Rooney is someone that, oh my god, he'll be playing soon against his old Manchester United club. I played against Scott Pollock recently. He did play. He's got to be worth Pollock. some points. And he asked for Scott Pollock's shirt at the end. And he said, oh, "Sorry, I need it for a Instagram giveaway." <laughs> <laughs> Why has um, Moose got? <laughs> I think I thought when we had Geeks and Shearer, we'd nailed it. Yeah. And you've just thrown two. And French how many and more English will there be like that? in the work? There'll be more out there we haven't thought of or haven't remembered. At this there will point. be a case for all of them. It could be Henri and Rooney. It wouldn't be a shock. Be There'd Henri be people going more about Shearer or about Gigs, but they'd get their time. Like this is say. what the Premier League want. If we're going back to that play, they want conversation. They want column inches. They want the brand to spread far and wide, even further and wider than it already has. This is exactly what they want. We're giving them what they want. Okay, so if I'm going Shearer and Giggs, are you going to agree with me on it? Or are you going to no, stick to your spanners? Shearer and Giggs were 100% my two. Okay, so we're going to we're going to go with this. Yeah, I think we're, we're not just predicting who should get it because we've said there's loads of people that should get it. We're saying yeah, we yeah. think we'll get it. The first two. Let and us know in the comments below. Don't who forget you one think. thing. For always and forever, we'll be remembered as the founding two. So it's big. The founding it's not, When you go in later on, it's obviously still massive, but the going in as the first two is that little bit elevated. Final spanner. Paolo oh Di and Thomas oh, Repka. Just, just to give it to him now. Give it to him now. Give it to him now. <laughs> they don't even need a Hall of Fame. They need like a House <laughs> of Fame. Um, we're going to end the video here, guys. But let us know in the comments below. Who do you think should get it? Who do you think will get it? And even outside of the, the two, who would you be voting for in the future? Hayden Mullins. And uh, Hayden Mullins is, a, is an outside bet. <laughs> we never know, though. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed this little bit different version of an IMO. You've not got my opinion. You've got Sevy Boys as well. And let me know who else you'd like to see on future IMOs. We'll see you soon. Until next time, subscribe. Don't go changing. And as Seb's here, see you in order. don't forget the hashtag. <laughs> Flipping heck.